With that in mind, it gives me tremendous pleasure to bring up a healer who's one of our favorites, Alita Adams. You talk about a heart as big as a house with a sardonic sense of humor. Put your seatbelt on. Come on, Alita. So you like to laugh too? <laughs> All right. We're going to get along. <laughs> I could have said aircraft carrier, but then you'd be buzzing, have all these airplanes buzzing around you. Ooh, I like her. I think I like you. I like you. We all like you. So wonderful. See, I could tell. I'm sorry. To hear you. Project. When I read, I will. Ooh. I'm having a private she conversation. Oh. She, got oh, she, got she got it. She got it. <laughs> okay. This is called Yesterday's Watermelon. Oh, and I'm Alita Adams. In Hello. Case, in case Hayden's Hello, introduction Alita. wasn't loud enough. <laughs> Yesterday's Watermelon. After you left, I remembered cut up watermelon I bought yesterday. Waiting for me, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Waiting for me, I, I, also, I also have an issue, a, a health issue. I don't see well. Who does? But I have been diagnosed. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that before. I've been diagnosed with the, an eye disease. I love the Don't get smart. All right. She's smarter than you are. So I do have a problem. I'll try holding it up here. Is that better? Yeah, well. Here. Okay. I hate this anyway. Okay. After you left, I remembered cut up watermelon I bought yesterday waiting for me in my refrigerator. After you left, satisfying rosy sweetness on my tongue, help me forget your wary post-kiss words. How you said, I don't know what will happen between us. After you left, I ate luscious fruit. As I pointed out the value of intention, the, the option of choice, to the fine textured dark pink cubes on my fork. After you left, as yesterday's watermelon delight eased my heart's familiar ache, I remembered how I am protected by rejection, how you, your inability to decide is my signal to retreat. And this is called, on the same subject. Limerence, not love. Mm. It's a, good day. a decade of lonely disinterest ended as unexpected heat rose to my flushed face after one careless flirtation. In that moment, I became obsession's slave. Each time we met, feigned apathy until on my sofa we sat close, not like friends, while you touched my neck, put your arm around my shoulders. We kissed. I longed for more. We both knew it would never be enough for me and forever too much for you. Stop using my magnifying glass. Oh, that's the thing. Wait a minute. Whatever this is. What? Oh, here's one. This is called First Apartment, Married. Encumbered by a shroud of memory within walls of hollow nostalgia, colored lights vibrate on ancient ceilings. 
the scarred and suffering floor holds faint echoes, hushed comments on that long ago decade of married life. Graphic tapestries of leaf patterns flicker against the empty eyes of shadeless windows. Noisy street sounds pound absent ears. Departed now to heed time's incessant rhythm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.